The year was 1895. As industrialization swept across the United States, captains of industry made untold amounts of money, which coined this period in history the Gilded Age. Newport, Rhode Island was the place to be and the place to display your newly found wealth. Newport became the resort town where the wealthiest of the wealthy built ornate and elaborate mansions to spend their summers at. The Vanderbilt family, the tycoons of the railroad industry, built many mansions across the country. However, not many are as well known as the Breakers, an Italian palazzo-style residence built by Cornelius Vanderbilt II. Upon entering the front gates, which are stately and inviting, the long and spacious driveway leads to one of the most amazing works of residential architecture ever built. Architect Richard Morris Hunt, the home's incredibly talented designer, built this 70-room, 65,000-square-foot, quote, summer cottage, as Mr. Vanderbilt called it, between 1893 and 1895. It was built on 13 acres of land that abuts the Atlantic Ocean with a fantastic view. Can you imagine having this as your backyard? The mansion has distinct characteristics of 15th century Italian palazzo architecture in which it was modeled after. For example, the Great Hall, as pictured here, is on the main floor of the mansion in the center of the house with rooms that are symmetrically placed around it that can be accessed through archways that line the side of the Great Hall. The impressive three-story height of the Great Hall mimics that of older Italian palazzos as each floor is clearly distinctive of the others and there has been a great amount of attention paid to detail. In fact, the Breakers was modeled after the Italian palaces such as Genoa and Turin. Much of the interior of the mansion was handcrafted in Europe by skilled artisans and then shipped to Newport to be placed within the structure. Here are a few examples of the fine luxury a Gilded Age millionaire can afford. Decorated in both the Parisian style, similar to that enjoyed by the European aristocracy here in the music room, and also the intricate detail put into the fine coffered ceiling of the library, and a place to relax with cigars and brandy in the billiard room. The patriarch of the family, Cornelius Vanderbilt, established the family's prestigious name. Here, his portrait is seen as a reminder to all family members exactly where the money to build this mansion came from. I have visited the Breakers, and it is one of the most stunning buildings I have ever been in. It is incredibly impressive and is a journey through history. Entering the front door and flowing right into the Great Hall is a feeling I can only describe as breathtaking. However, what's more breathtaking is standing at the edge of the ocean and turning around to see the impressive structure Mr. Cornelius Vanderbilt II called his Summer Cottage. I'm sure that this postcard here was sent out to the friends of the Vanderbilt family as an invitation to swing by when they're in town or merely to remind them just how wealthy they really were.